What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. Um, back with a different kind of video today. So one of the things that I've wanted to do for a long time is I wanted to do some 3D printing tutorials on the channel. And so in today's video, I'm gonna talk through my reasoning for what I'm looking at and also see if I can get some feedback from you guys on if you have any 3D printers, what you like, other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I don't know anything about 3D printers. So I've been doing a bunch of research the last couple days. The first thing I did, obviously, is I went to YouTube to look for any information that was out there. I found an excellent video from Thomas Sand later, which I will link to in the notes down below, where he talks through the basics of purchasing a 3D printer. So this was an excellent educational video because it gave me a lot of the basics that I didn't really have. So he talks through everything from the differences between a filament printer and a resin printer. So those are going to have different processes um, to everything having to do with the slicer, the hardware, um, all the different parts and pieces in here. So I felt like he gave a really good um, base of information. So the other thing I did is I uh, read a lot of reviews and kind of top 10 lists of 3D printers to kind of figure out what the best options were going to be for me. So personally, and I put these in a table, and so personally for me, I, I wanted to go with kind of the more common ones um, because there's probably some help that I'm going to need at some point, and I wanted to get a 3D printer that there's kind of a community out there for that people are using. So I wanted to walk you through quick some of the options that I'm looking at, partially because I know a lot you know a lot more about 3D printers than me and I'd love to get your opinions. So right now there's five options that I'm kind of looking at. Um, my budget is somewhere in the thousand dollar range um, maximum so I definitely don't have to pay that but that's kind of the upper end of what I'm looking to pay. I'm not looking to buy something super high end because I'm just getting started and I want something that I can kind of start with. So um, the options I'm seeing first off is the Creality Ender 3 V2. So this seems to be the, um, the lowest cost cost option. So a lot of people like to get this one because it seems like it's the budget friendly option. This did seem to be the low cost option that a lot of people are going for. A lot of people seem like they really liked it. So um, the Flash Forge. So I saw the Flash Forge Adventurer 3. This one seems to be selling itself as kind of the beginner model. So um, the model that's the simplest to use, the least parts and pieces you're gonna have to mess around with, um, other things like that. Uh, the other thing I like about this one is it has an enclosure. So I'm gonna be printing in my office. Maybe you guys can let me know when you're 3D printing, are there a lot of smells and does it generate a lot of heat or is it kind of low impact? I'd love to hear about that from you guys to see if that enclosure is going to be important. So to depending on the options you get, this one's sitting in the 359 to 400 range. So Prusa seems to be the big player in this marketplace right now. So they seem to have the best customer support from what I could see, as well as people just seem to really like them. But the Prusas, there are two options that I was looking at. So there's the original Prusa, and the Prusa Mini. And um, these both seem like strong options. So the original Prusa is a larger 3D printer. And notice that both of these come in either a kit or um, not fully assembled, but mostly assembled. So that gives you the option to put it together yourself if you wanna do that. I don't know that I'm super interested in putting a 3D printer together myself from scratch. So I'll probably be looking for things that are as close to fully assembled as you can get. These are both strong contenders. It seems like there's also a large community out there that are using the Prusas. So one thing that really stands out to me that I really like is the size of the Prusa Mini. Because I'm going to be setting this up in my office, I don't know that I necessarily want a giant 3D printer in here. And the Mini seems like something that's going to take up a little bit less space. At least to begin, I'm not really looking to print anything super huge anyway, so I don't need a super big um, build area. So this might be a good place for me to start. And then the last option I was looking at is one of the Dremel options. So Dremel has multiple different options in here. They seem like they're kind of targeting the um, the EDU market, the educational market, and they have several options in here that are doing that. So from what I from what I can see, the Dremel seem like they have really high build quality and really good software. Um, I like that this 3D20 is also enclosed, but again, I'm not necessarily sure how much that's going to affect noise and smells and things like that. So again, if you have any feedback on enclosed versus not enclosed, I'd love to hear about it. So as of right now, I kind of put these in the table and the costs are going to range anywhere from 235 or whatever the website said for the Creality through the uh, Prusa full size, which is going to be about a thousand. So my choice right now, I am very strongly leaning towards the Prusa 
Mini Plus, um, partially just due to the size of it, but partially just because Prusa has a really good reputation. So I wanted to see from you guys if this is the one you would go with out of this list or if you have something else that you use. So I'd love to hear anything that you think I need to know before buying a 3D printer. So like I said, I am strongly leaning in the Prusa Mini Plus direction, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, what you're using, anything you think would be helpful. So thank you for listening to me ramble on a little bit about 3D printers. I'm super excited to start adding this to the channel and kind of just uh, going down the path of 3D printing a little bit and kind of testing it out. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.